Yo, 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 what's going on everybody? Welcome to another how-to video. So in this one we're going to demonstrate how to install more pool solar panels. So I already have three of them up there on that side from last year. We're going to go ahead and install three more. They are from Extreme Power US and uh, going to tell you all about it and what parts we need. Here we go. Let's roll the film. All right, folks, let's go with the background. So this is like my fifth video now on the pool solar panels. Got, uh, had one where I had a whole bunch of them laying back here. I think it was four, two four by 20s. And they heated the pool like five to seven degrees. It was awesome. Then I had a fence contractor come in and move the fence to the back. And they, because uh, the pool, so pool solar panels were just laying on the ground, the rocks, they stepped on them, cracked them, had to throw them all away. So went with plan B last year, but two by tens uh, solar panels, three of them, put them up there. It heated the pool two degrees and I just tested it here this uh, spring. Got, it was actually four degrees, so we'll just say two to four with that smaller surface area up there. So uh, again, what we're gonna go ahead and do is install th three more on that side, try to get back up to five to seven degrees temperature switch. So what I do here is how I heat my pool is I got a half horsepower sump pump from Lowe's then I buy this is inch and a half flex pipe uh, put it up on the screen Home Depot has the best it uh, is really flexible in the in the heat uh, I think there's some on Amazon that you could buy as well so what I did is run it up to the top of the roof went in in there just shut the water up and it goes back and forth through the panels and then comes back down through there and then outlets in the pool. I did not want to connect the heater onto my pool plumbing devices uh, just because you know if it ever breaks you're kind of stuck and I really literally only have a little bit of work with right there that's above ground so that's why I just do a makeshift pool heater keep it here in the corner nobody trips over it not that big a deal and then uh, you could use that sump pump in the winter time to uh, you blow water out of your pool or, or whatever you need it for so multi-purpose use so all right that's the setup and the background let's uh go ahead and go over the parts now all right they come rolled up in these boxes here coiled up you have to lay them sit out for one night uh, put a, like a rock back on both of them because they're rolled up in a coil so you got to lay them down put a rock on both sides and they flatten out within one day so i did that so some some uh, tools that you would need obviously a ladder we're going to get the ladder out you do need big pliers here to undo that thing right there in order to connect it onto that one other parts you're going to need some type of saw to cut the inch and a half pipe that you put on it comes with two bags of these hoses for my configuration I only need one bag I'm just gonna run the water in one side and out the other so I actually only need two of those um, I like to strap put straps around the coils and then nail them down on the roof with roofing nail sets so I got roofing nails and a hammer and then I got a whole bunch of inch and a half U hooks from uh, Ace hardware to uh, further sturdy it and hook the inch and a half pipe down onto the roof. And then again, I'll just show you the last piece here. That's the piping right there that we're going to use. So, the strategy I'm going to go with going to get the ladder, going to go ahead and put it up. And so, on that side of the, uh, the water is going to come up from the other side of the roof over there. and I want it to come, I'm going to run the pipe down this side, down here. And we're going to go in there and out there and back around that corner and back around. So again, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and uh, set the solar panels up on the roof. It's too hard to take all three up at once. Learned that from uh, 
lesson from uh, last time, so we're going to take one up at a time and uh, strap them down and hook them in uh, that way. Uh, let's go over. So it comes with these orange caps on. You take the orange caps off, put that in. There's a an O-ring you put around there that's in the bag. We'll take that cap off. It'll snap into there. And then this other piece will go right into there. There's a little O-ring that comes with it you put in there. And then we are going to, you're going to want to double, you're going to take these hooks here, hook the pipe into there, and double tighten the inch and a half flex pipe onto there. Uh, so yeah, you, you will need a uh, socket set as well. I forgot so. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start putting up on the roof. All right, I got the first panel up. Unfortunately, I ran out of the black twine right there, but uh, ultimately you'd want to have twine going down through all, all three of them. I'll have to get, come back and buy some later, but it's not sturdy enough to get up there. So uh, so it looks like, so we got the outlet up on that end. We're gonna go ahead and piece the next two pieces in. They just snap in real easy right there, but again, you gotta bring them up one at a time. All right, we got all three panels up, connected in now. The fun part begins the plumbing. So I'm gonna disconnect the hose on the other side, drop that down, and I'm gonna take this one up, connect it up on back on the other side, bring it down, and connect it into the bottom of that one. All right, quick peek on this side. We got everything in place. We didn't turn it on, didn't check the plumbing yet. That's gonna be a tough part, but I just wanna show you the how we uh, configured it. Really don't need the black straps after you get the if you get the top. So I took the, you can see up there in that corner, I put a, a U-ring on up there and tightened down and that's holding there. So after you get that down, you could literally take the black straps in place. I actually uh, took some uh, nails out of it so it, it'll eventually lay back down there. So, all right, now I'm gonna go to the other side and lay that hose down there and uh, then we'll go ahead and turn it on and test the plumbing. All right, we're going to get a sneak peek of the other side now. Uh, like you see, I left plenty of room to move that hose around, push it out down there. So again, all this was in place, it wasn't leaking. And I just ran the outlet down from that end, down here, and down that way. So. Next step is to uh, check the plumbing, and I doubt that we're going to get it right the first time, but uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, here we go for try number two. So we had a big leak on there, but they, whenever I went to retighten them, they were pretty loose anyway. And then we had a small leak in the top one up there, and I tightened that one. So here we go. Got a good leak here still. Let's see if I can crank her down. All right, this side looks like we're good, so it's just a matter of fixing that one to, down on the other side there. Definitely restricted the flow by putting the second set of panels on there but hopefully again we get uh, a couple more degrees of water temperature increase in return let me add one comment while i'm up here so benefit of having the the drain right here is in the winter time i could easily disconnect that to allow the water to come out of it so nothing freezes in here i did the went through all last winter no i mean i i drained it and tried to suck the water out uh, but uh that no holes or anything going through winter so uh it's pretty durable all right one last look at the how much water's coming out uh i'd say we definitely restricted it the flow in half 
by adding the second third or the third set, second set of panels. And uh, but we'll what we're gonna do here is uh, it's getting nighttime now. But next hot day, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a temperature check. All right, you're seeing a truly authentic video here. So after I, was, I wanted to wrap up the video, get a final temperature check, but it was uh, overcast and rainy the last several days. So this is the first day we got with uh, no rain or overcast. It's only 72 degrees, but anyway, I turned the, the pump on and uh, freaking leak up there. So I'll go ahead and show it to you here. Somewhere over there, it was water was flying up pretty high. You can see the water's coming down right there. <clears throat> All right, quick peek on how I fixed the leaks. Again, I got a past video on how to uh, fix solar panels. Now these these ones here, the directions say use a tent number ten sheet screw, and if that doesn't work, use a twelve. Well, here after I cut it out, you actually need a fourteen or even higher. Uh, so save your self a trip to the hardware actually cut out the piece of plastic first and take the piece of plastic to the hardware so you can measure the screw type so right now it looks like it's uh working but i gotta wait for everything to dry out here just for the final test and uh if the 14s don't work i gotta go see if they even make a 16 i went to ace hardware didn't go to lowe's which lowe's would have a bigger selection so yep see Let's see if it works uh now it's not as hot Yeah. All right, we finally got a sunny day to test the uh, water temperature. Probably like uh, 74 air temperature right now. Uh, so did a quick temperature check and it was actually 100 degrees coming out of there. The pool temperature is 70 right now. Um, I figured it was probably, the water was probably sitting in the, the pipes there. So did it again and we're at 81 right now, 81 degrees. So we are getting 11 degrees temperature difference coming in versus coming out. So I was worried while shooting this video that uh, it wasn't worth it and we we're only gonna get a couple of degrees, but uh, heck yeah, yeah, it's definitely worth the extra four panels. Uh, it's not even a, a really hot cooking day. Uh, I'd say a real hot cooking day, you could probably get 15 degree temperature change. So, all right, two thumbs up other than the holes. So uh, definitely glad I put the extra four panels on there. All right, so give me, I'll give you my final thoughts here now. Would I buy these again? Absolutely. Uh, probably what I'd do different. Uh, don't put the straps on like I did. I'm probably going to take the straps off. And actually, where I have the uh, little, where the pipes are connected together, I'd probably go a U-hook and hold them up, hold the panels up there with U-hooks as opposed to putting that uh, black strap up there. Uh, but uh, yeah, to summarize, we're getting 11 degrees temperature difference right now. And it's not uh, not like a scorching hot day. Uh, so yeah, definitely two thumbs up. Maybe you want to buy. It's it's easy to uh, fix them. I mean, I'm disappointed that we got two holes in it while I was working on it, but it was easy to fix. Not that much pressure going through them. So you may want to buy an extra panel over time because eventually they're uh, going to degrade and get some holes in them. But uh, definitely worth it. So all right, hope you enjoyed the video. If you got this far, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. See ya.